Hello everybody, Belinda here. Welcome back. I am working on, let's see, I think it's a 10 by 24 inch. Uh, 12. So it's a 12 by 24. It's a little bit of a wonky donkey today. Right, so my base colour is um, Burnt Umber by Arteza. Uh, that's the consistency, quite runny. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and lay down the brown, the base coat, and I'll see you in a bit. Just give that a quick torch, guys. Okay, I'm going to go in with um, this white first. It's actually called Baby Huxley and I have added about just a tiny tiny touch of house paint so it's actually not white white alright so I think I'm gonna go in um, let's see let's go in here I really, really love all those cells that are coming up. It looks really pretty. Um, <clears throat> then I have, um, it's kind of like an orangey brown color. And I might have added a little bit of gold in it just to give it some sparkle. So I think next I'm going to go here. you can't see this too much I mean it's not like a serious contrast but it is actually quite nice and then here I have um, kind of like a beige so I'm going to put that um, let's see I might run out of some <laughs> space for my colors that I've chosen so how about we just do a little bit of that? And then I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow. Yeah, so I would like, uh, actually, let's put it here. Let's see how this goes and just try and blow it that way. Yeah, I 
like that. And then I'm going in with red. Now this red here is the red that I've actually mixed up in my previous videos. So it's kind of like autumn-y. put some red here and this red does actually have gold in it and it also has a, a tiny little bit of um, red house paint cells here are absolutely amazing as well so now um, I think what I'm going to do just to balance it out a bit now, now I have one two three four five which it should really be five I think I might just put a little bit of white here while well, this baby Huxley wondering <laughs> do I or don't I I really like it the way it is um okay let me let me just carry on with it and then I'll make a decision all right So I'm going to take my, my skewer and I'm just going to drag it through, through from there. So I drag it through just to give it like a, a leaf, so it like kind of looks like a leaf effect. This one here. And this red is, is actually very pretty. going to show up too much there. I wanted to actually do some little things. So let's just see how it works out here first. I think that's nice. So I don't really want to go crazy crazy with it. Um, maybe just like on one side. give it some kind of interest. Yeah, I like that. And then this side here, um, I should do it here 
that I have actually made a decision because this here looks quite bland I'm gonna add a bit more white here I think glad I did that. I'm going to blow it over a little bit here too. Yeah. Alright, I'll give that a torch and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. Alright guys, so I have put the studio lights off. And hopefully you get to see how pretty this is. I think that there's, there's quite a lot of depth and that's what I was after in trying to create. You can see the depth. Yeah, so that colour is probably showing up a bit more red than what it really is. Uh, those cells are beautiful. Yeah, so I really like that. Um, I do think that doing it the way I've done it, because I was actually looking at trying to create depth, um, and I think I, it actually turned out pretty well. So there you have it, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching and joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.